Hello everyone. Welcome to the Telecommunication Engineering Laboratory 4. In this lab, we will learn about the Fourier series and the Fourier transform theory. So here we have two objectives in this lab. The first one is to understand the Fourier series and the Fourier transform theory. The second one is to be able to conceptualize the spectrum in frequency domain. And here is an example of the application of Fourier transform. If you are playing the violin or the guitar with different notes, yeah, different notes, you will be able to notice the difference between each note only by different sounds, right? But if you do the Fourier transform of each note, you will be able to see that each note has different frequencies. Each note has different frequencies. So in this lab, we will be doing the Fourier transform of the signal in order to see their frequency spectrum. Okay, the easy way to explain the meaning of Fourier transform is that if you do the Fourier transform of the signal or function, you will be able to know the frequency domain of the signal. For example, if we have the signal in time domain, maybe like this, and you do the Fourier transform of the signal you will get f omega in frequency domain maybe like this so uh, the concept of Fourier transform can be used in many applications for example in applied science information processing electronics communication x-ray diffraction image processing and many more So before we are going to know the equation of Fourier transform, let's start with the Fourier series. Firstly, if we have the periodic function or periodic, periodic signal, instead of writing this function in the long term like this, this is very long, right? You just write this function in series. So this theory is called Fourier theory, right? This is the short term. Of this function. So a zero, a n, b n are the Fourier coefficients in which you can see the equation in the lab sheet. So, uh, but if you have non-periodic function, this is uh, non-periodic function. You can know the Fourier transform of the FT, non-periodic function here, by an integral of FT multiplied by e to the power of minus j omega t dt this is the Fourier transform we write it as f omega okay and again you have the signal in time domain ft you do the Fourier transform you will get f omega in frequency domain Okay, for example, if you have cosine function and you want to see the spectrum of cosine function, you just do the Fourier transform of it. For example, you have ft in cosine function. Do the Fourier transform of this function. You will get f omega and the Fourier transform of cosine function is basically 
and impulse at my plus omega and at minus omega similar to cosine function if you have sine function in time domain and you want to see the spectrum of psi function just do the Fourier transform of the psi function so you get an impulse here and here okay another example is if we do the Fourier transform of the rectangular pulse like this Fourier transform you will get the spectrum here in frequency domain if we have to the signal in time domain which contains two frequency components this one in time domain ft and you have two frequency this is first frequency and this is the second frequency and you do the Fourier transform you will get the spectrum in time domain which contains two frequencies this should be the lower frequency and this is higher frequency so if you have the signal in time domain which contain two frequencies you can still see that two frequencies in frequency domain okay so let's move on to the experiment part in experiment one construct the circuit according to the block diagram shown in figure one the input of this experiment is 2 kilohertz sine wave message and 100 kilohertz sine wave carrier so in this experiment you just use the oscilloscope here to display the signal in time domain and use the spectrum analyzer to display the signal in frequency domain very easy right so in experiment 2 construct a circuit according to the block diagram shown in figure 2a and 2b by adding an amplifier module here to the circuit you previously used in experiment 1 and then adjust the tunable here of the amplifier adjust the tuning bar here right and left and then see what happened in time domain and what happened in frequency domain okay and in, in experiment 3 construct the circuit according to the block diagram in figure 3 this is similar to experiment 2 but the input is changed from sine wave to square wave. Oh no, square wave. Okay, and then use the oscilloscope to display the signal in time domain and the spectrum analyzer to display the signal in frequency domain. To, so this is similar to experiment two. You just adjust the gain of low pass filter here and see what happened in time domain and what happened in frequency domain okay in experiment 4 construct the circuit according to the block diagram shown in figure 4 in this experiment you just use the TTL as an input TTL is basically the digital clock like this so pass the TTL to the low pass filter and display the signal in time domain and in frequency domain 
and in this experiment you just adjust the tune of the low pass filter and see what happened in time domain and what happened in frequency domain okay you have to also calculate the power of the pulse you get in frequency domain in this experiment it is suggested to use norm rank here in the low pass filter so don't use y, y rank and the gain of the low pass filter should be at the half scale here half scale and in the spy program here adjust the reference level to 1000 millivolt okay and in the last experiment experiment 5 construct the circuit according to the block the block diagram shown in figure 5 and in in this experiment you have two input this is the first input 2 kilohertz sine wave message and the second input is 100 kilohertz sine wave carrier so pass both of them to the other module and then use the oscilloscope to display the signal in time domain again and the spectrum analyzer to display the signal in frequency domain again and then in the other module you just adjust the gain here of 2 kilohertz this gain is for 2 kilohertz sine wave and this gain is for 100 kilohertz sine wave so you adjust two of gain here and see what happened in time domain and in frequency domain the gain okay in this experiment it is suggest to use the reference level of 500 millivolt in spike program so that's all of the experiment today and it is very easy good luck